Okay. Let's do this, everyone. Ooh, so good. Okay. Okay, we'll go open. So I've heard of the information. I don't know how many pop types. So I'm just running. Yeah. Then you just have an addition to the first play in the 25. Have that have. No defense for Travis this year. And with Vincent's. And. And with Vincent's. It was amazing. You probably had to spend it. The audience. And so forth. And so forth. Okay, it was good. It's <laughs> okay. We're going to go. And, uh, let me just look for the fun. And, uh, smile, we're going to smile, we're going to smile. So, it's fun, and guess what? Are you ready to know our favorite virgin this year? Okay. Alright, so much to talk about. The book. You've got two minutes. The album. <laughs> I was told 15, <laughs> just for the record. I'm only kidding. Alright, and then the event coming up. Yeah. Alright, should we start with the book? Start whatever you like. Book number three. Yeah. Okay, the last two have done so well, no yeah. surprise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the premise of book number three. Well, you know, the premise of number one was where I found a box of postcards. And they were all from the boys, because I'd always, if they went anywhere, I'd say, send me a postcard. I just love postcards. So that's what started this. And then with Nick Roylands at uh, Genesis, you know, he, we were talking, and I, I've taken a lot of photographs, and I've got a lot of photographs. So we thought the, the book number two would be, actually, mainly photographs I took with cameras. And then it came to me again for book three that we're talking about. And there's several of the photos are taken with cameras, but most of them are taken with the iPhone. I was gonna ask you, in this day and age, yeah. what kind of camera do you use? Yeah, well, I carry a, a real camera, and, uh, but usually it's, uh, oh, it comes. oh, yeah. Oh, this cell know, phone. I've got it already, you know? Yeah. And uh, so this is a lot of uh, shots on tour, uh, backstage, you know, the, the one that blows me away uh, was the one of this big eagle that landed on the balcony. Of, I was in the hotel in Miami on tour, and this thing just came and, well, you, you've got to take a few photos. Yeah. And, uh, but it, and it didn't move, it just like, oh, yeah, you want to take a photo? Okay. <laughs> and then it came back the next day, so I got quite a few photos of him, and we put some of them in the book. Well, an eagle is always a great shot. Yeah, but, uh, uh, with the ocean in the background, you think, what? You know, because you always think they're in woods and madness. You describe the book as just random shots. They are random shots, and, you know, it depends on the mood. If you look at some of the shots, they, they're actually plugs in the wall, but they look like faces. I hope they look like faces to everyone else. <laughs> yeah, I thought <laughs> But to me, they look like faces, and, you know, then I'm sitting around the dressing room, and I'll sort of take photo of what I've left on the plate for dinner. Oh, then I'll arrange the potatoes, the potato man, I call him, with asparagus mouth. So, you know, <laughs> it, like, it would be great, and especially when I've been interested. Like oh, I only take shoes. You know what I mean? I only take seascapes. <laughs> it's all over the place. So I mean, people like so. that because they can see different attitudes of me, you know, as well as the photos. I oh, look what he's taking now. Makes it very real to see your plate of food yeah. being photographed and making a book. Yeah. It's in the book. Yeah. Okay. So. Touring. I'd love to have you reflect on touring today from, say, back in the heyday. Well, it's a lot easier today. and uh, But we play a lot longer. Because when we were out as the Beatles, um, we did 30 minutes at the most. That's all. And then it... Now we do two hours. What about, how is it connecting today with the fans? Because everyone's got their cell phone up now. Uh, as soon as you run on, half of the audience see you through the cell phone. Doesn't matter who you are. And that's how it is. And you have to say, okay. Some of the times. Well, no, that's what they want to do. It's what they want to do. It's like part of now. Yeah. You know, I was looking one time for footage of, we are, 
Apple group of companies, we were looking for footage from the 60s that people had taken. Nothing. Nobody, nobody took photos. They just screamed. You know? <laughs> it is hard to find photos sometimes. Well, you, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, as a, you know, where I lived in Liverpool, the first camera we got, I was 18. There's only like five shots of me from birth to 18. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my different. son, my eldest son, is like a thousand. Exactly. My second son is 750, and my daughter, who still moans about it, there's only 50 of her. <laughs> we capture life differently. Let me ask you this. In the book, where is John Lennon in this book? In my heart. Mm. In the book. He's on the record, and, uh, you know, he wrote the record that we did. Are we switching to records now? We can. We can. Anyway, the new record, What's My Name? Um, yeah. You know, it's a story that... It's like out of the blue, really. I met this guy over several years. His name is Jack Douglas, and he produced John's la later albums. And just this year, he said, uh, well, did you get that cassette? That's how long ago it was. Um, I said, no, what are you talking about? He said, well, John wanted you to have this cassette. And it's him doing his demos in Bermuda. So it's called the Bermuda Demos. And so uh, he said, well, I'll get you a copy. So he put it on a CD for me from his cassette. And at the beginning, John says, oh, that would be nice for Mr. Richard Starkey. This would be great for you, Ringo, Ooh. in a Liverpool accent. And uh, there's a song on it that he never finished. He, record he just did the demo. He never made it on a record. And uh, all the others he'd done, he'd, he'd put on his records. And... Uh, so I, th I was emotional when I heard his voice, actually, because it's out of the blue. He's been gone 39 uh, years now. So that was a hard day when he went. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's keep it up. Um, and so I thought, well, I'm going to do it. I had no idea about this song. Um, but it was on demo, a demo even. And then we went to the Internet, and we found that it was put out once with George Martin put strings on it, his demo. I never heard that. Well, so never heard that about thing. it. It was like mad. Let me ask you this. I love that you're still connected with Paul McCartney. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. a lasting friendship. It is. Yeah, well, we were good friends. Uh, you know, we supported each other, and the music still carries on. Like, Abbey Road just came out, and it was in the charts. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, we have all that time together, and if you go, uh, there's the art gallery by the door of this hotel. You know, there's pictures of the four of us that were all in the same car. We only ever had two rooms in a hotel. We always shared. We knew each other really. Oh, George, right, we're in the car. We are, in a way, still together, but Paul and I are still together because we're still here. I love that, that he yeah, goes yeah. to play on the album. That's you know, he played on the album yeah. for me. And, you know, he played Dodger Stadium a couple of months ago. He asked me to cut up with him. I got up with him there. So, you know, we do that. So we're still friends and we have a lot of dinners together. Talk about the album. The album's great. <laughs> <laughs> if you do say so, right? Yeah. Um, it, it's called What's My Name, which is, you know, I do know my name, but it's a, a song that Colin Hay wrote. He was Men at Work, Men at Work. And... Uh, I found out this year that because he was in my band in the All Stars six years ago and he wrote this song, I never knew. And somebody was in the studio while I was working and they said, Have you heard Colin's song, what's my name? No, Colin never mentioned it. So I called Colin. I said, You put this song, what's my name? Because I do it every night on stage. I say, What's my name? Because I introduce the band and so I don't feel left out. I go, what's my name? Played in 1949. And uh, so he's, he's wrote this song about my life, you know, from horses to cars, from playing in German bars, from being on the radio, like the musician life I led, or still do. And, uh, and in the end, you know, in the middle of uh, each chorus, what's my name? Ringo. So that's why it's called that, because it's a lot of fun. Do friends call you Ringo or Richard? Only family call me Richard. Okay. Yeah. Or granddad. Or dad. <laughs> God, or great granddad. Well, we're trying to get him to say GGD.
Uh, and have oh, you ever tried to teach a two-year-old two year GGD? He's getting there, right? Da, da, da. <laughs> no, no, GGD. Okay. GGD. It's like I told all my grandkids to do this. A lot of joy, Peace. Since Peace. they were babies, yeah. and so at the beginning, you see them like... Oh, that's adorable. Trying to get it together, you know. Now, as soon as they see you, Granddad. Love that. You must love that. I do. Yeah. Because that's they, your thing. Even if they recognize me, I love that. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I, and you, you're big with the all-stars. You, you love supporting other artists. I do. I love yeah. to play. And, you know, I am the drummer in the band, and you need a piano, a bass, a guitar, something in front of you. You know, it helps the melody. And uh, so I uh, was asked in 1989, would I put a band together, go on tour, was I interested? So I thought, well, I do that. Mm. I'm just going to make some phone calls, open my phone book. In those days, you had a book. And I uh, started calling. Everybody said yes. Joe Walsh said yes. Nils Lofgren, yes. Dr. John, yes. Billy Preston, yes. Uh, Leave on help, yes. I was so insecure. You thought they wouldn't there say yes? There were three drummers. No, they all said yes, but yeah. I had... Jim Keltner on this side and Levon Helm on this side, so I felt pretty cool. Let me show you this. Oh, uh, yeah. So at Fox 11, did, we isolated it. some shots from oh. video that we took in the 1960s, Super Bison, 1960s, 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 